What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good week. My name is Anomaly. Of course, if you don't already know, follow me on Instagram at Dream Rare. Follow me on Twitter at Legendary Energy and stay tuned on Facebook for more news analysis and whatnot. I'm going to wait about 20 seconds for people to get into the live stream. But something weird happened and I thought that I would talk about it because I think it should be brought to people's attention. So just give me about 5-10 more seconds until people get in. I want to start off by saying first off that I'm a Ben Shapiro fan. I think he puts out great content and I think Ben Shapiro is one of the brightest people in news analysis and politics right now. He's a, a great guy. I saw him at Politicon. Very smart, uh, intelligent person. And, you know, I'm not a petty person. I don't like to like beef or argue with people. That's not my lane. I see people do that all the time. They just bicker with each other. That's not why I'm here. I think Ben is great, but his um, saying is facts don't care about your feelings. And I completely agree. And I think Ben Shapiro is 110% wrong about Donald Trump and the Russia Council. I was watching him on Rogan's podcast. It has over 2 million views already on YouTube. And he talks uh, about Donald Trump with Joe Rogan for about 30, 40 minutes. And they're both kind of bashing him the whole time. Um, and that's fine. You know, they have their opinions. I agree with Ben Shapiro on a lot of things he said about Trump as far as he could handle a lot of things better. I definitely agree there. But... What Ben Shapiro said about Trump and the Russia Council is 110% wrong. He's just completely factually wrong. Um, you know, he, he has opinions and feelings, and facts don't care about your feelings, Ben. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what Ben said, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. What uh, for some reason Ben Shapiro is completely missing. And once again, I'm not trying to be petty. I'm not. It has nothing to do with you know ego or pride or anything. I'm not that type of person, but. You know, it's a friendly debate. I know Ben likes to debate and, I, and Ben likes facts. So here it goes. Ben Shapiro said on Joe Rogan's podcast that there's two possibilities with Trump and the Russia Council. He said the two possibilities are, and this is out of Ben Shapiro's mouth. You can watch it for yourself. He said the two possibilities with Trump and the Russia Council is one, either Trump is really guilty and he's hiding something, or two, Trump is really stupid and he's egotistical and the only reason he wants to get rid of Mueller and the Russia Council is because Trump wants everybody to love him. This is out of Ben Shapiro's mouth. He's supposed to be the leading intellect on the conservative side. He's supposed to be the brightest and smartest person. And I'm sorry, but it's a very, very stupid statement. He said there's only two possibilities. Either Trump's hiding something or he's egotistical and dumb. And that can't be further from the truth. I mean, Ben Shapiro, Mr. Facts Don't Care About Your Feelings, Mr. You Know, I, I Know Everything. What are you talking about, bro? I mean, this is the biggest witch hunt in United States history, and it has so many other reasons that Donald Trump would get rid of it. It's not because he's hiding something. It, I mean, we'll find out, but it's, it's not because he's stupid or egotistical. This is literally a witch hunt to destroy conservatives, to destroy Donald Trump, to destroy free thought, to control the complete flow of information, and to kick out a president who is democratically elected. The whole Russia scandal is literally built on flimsy evidence that doesn't even exist. Let's go to the roots uh, of the Russia Council, Ben Shapiro. Uh, maybe you missed this one, but it's in the Podesta emails that they admitted that Hillary's weak spot was Russia so that they were going to accuse the opposition of what they were doing because they knew it was their weak spot. If people don't know yet, Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State sold 20%, hundreds of millions of dollars, over $100 million of uranium to Russia. Hillary Clinton also went all over the world, struck deals with foreign leaders, and directly enriched herself in her foundation this is the type of stuff that other people would be in jail for and get fired for. This is the type of stuff that the South Korean president got kicked out for, for doing one twentieth of what Hillary Clinton did. And this is the reality of what's going on. And the whole Russia situation is based on the DNC saying, hey, Russia hacked the election, they hacked our servers. But they have literally, after a year of witch hunt, after all of these councils, they have no proof of collusion, none. They lied about everything, virtually everything in the story. Has nothing to do with ego. Has nothing to do with Donald Trump being prideful. It has to do with 
the greatest witch hunt to literally take Donald Trump out of office. They said that Russia hacked their server. Many people think that it was actually Seth Rich who internally leaked it. There's been no evidence um, to say that Russia hacked the DNC server. And when the DNC had the chance to give it to the FBI and the CIA so that they could actually look at their server, the DNC never handed their server over. So they said, hey, let's start this whole Russia thing, but we're not even going to show you our servers yet. Yeah, Russia hacked it, but don't look at it. But they hacked it, but just believe us, you know, you're not allowed to investigate for yourself. I mean, Ben Shapiro, is that not a little bit fishy to you? Do you think it's ego or pride that I'm saying this, or do you think that's facts? And, you know, your feelings about Donald Trump, your feelings that, you know, he's egotistical and that he's stupid, these are your feelings, Ben Shapiro. These are not facts. The facts are that the Washington Post lied about Russia hacking the electric grid. They made a big story. Hey, Russia hacked the electric grid. Everybody run and hide. The Russians are coming for you. Millions of people shared it. Turns out to be a fake story. New York Times, for over a year now, they said 17 intelligence agencies. It was 17 intelligence agencies. I got my friends calling me up saying, Anomaly, who do you think you are? You think you know everything? You think you know more than 17 intelligence agencies? Number one, let's look at what these intelligence agencies have done because a lot of the things that they've done are far from intelligent. Second of all, after a year of propaganda, uh, of putting out the propaganda of 17 intelligence agencies, 17 intelligence agencies, that was a fake story by the New York Times. So they lied about Russia hacking the electric grid. They lied about Russia colluding. They have no evidence. They said 17 intelligence agencies agree, and it ends up only being four. Meanwhile, James Clapper, the head of all the intelligence agencies, has repeatedly said that there's no evidence, no evidence whatsoever. When can you remember in United States history a time where they were allowed to just make this entire news cycle, make an entire fake story, and act like it's the biggest story in the country over something that doesn't even exist. It's based on evidence of saying they hacked us and they didn't even let people look at their servers. You have people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz threatening police chief over a laptop of Imran Awan, one of her IT staffers that they're paying five times the salary when he doesn't even do IT work. I mean, nothing's fishy to you there, Ben Shapiro. You think that the only two options that Trump could possibly be bad at the Russia Council is because he's egotistical and dumb or hiding something? How about millions of Americans are sick and tired of this because it's a waste of our time and energy because it's a, a giant witch hunt to get Trump out of office. It's the deep state. It's the media, the intelligence agencies, the Republicans, and the Democrats threatening our democracy. They said, okay, you, you didn't vote for Trump. You don't exist. Ben Shapiro, you don't exist. I don't exist. None of us exist. It's all the Russians. The Russians did all this. There's no possible way anybody else could like Donald Trump. There's no possible way he's doing a good job. There's zero chance that, you know, he has good intentions and that he didn't work with Russia or that he can, you know, finesse the war in Syria so Syria can be okay. We can have a good relationship with Russia. No, no, no. There's no, there's no possibility of that. It, ju it just has to be Donald Trump's just dumb. I mean, I must be dumb too. And, you know, 10 million plus people must be dumb because we don't want Mueller, who lied about the Iraq war, to lead this whole special counsel witch hunt, which is led by MSNBC and fake news by CNN and Washington Post and New York Times. This is, these are facts. These are facts that the New York Times and Washington Post have pushed out multiple fake articles about Russia. It's a fact that CNN fired or had resigned three of its employees for making a fake Russia story. It's a fact that one of CNN's directors or producers was caught on camera saying, it's a giant nothing burger. We're literally just doing it for the ratings. Donald Trump is 110% right. It is, it is a witch hunt because we have no evidence. It's, that's a fact. A CNN producer himself admitted the whole thing is a sham. I mean, it doesn't take an intelligent person, doesn't take the smartest person in the world to realize what they're really trying to do. It has nothing to do with Russia because they don't care about foreign relations. If they cared about presidents working with foreign relations and politicians and secretaries of states working with foreign relations, then they wouldn't, they would have said something about Hillary Clinton taking tens of millions of dollars from Saudi Arabia. They would have said something about Bill Clinton receiving million dollar gifts from Qatar. These are facts. These are 100% facts. I mean, all you have to do is look at reality, look at what's going on. I just found it mind blowing because I'm a huge Joe Rogan fan. I definitely love and support Ben Shapiro. But when I heard him talking about Trump and Russia, 
I mean, he couldn't have been further off. He said the only two, two possibilities that Trump could be mad at the Russia Council is because he's either hiding something or he's egotistical and dumb and that, you know, it's all a big power trip, you know. I don't want anyone to be mean to me. I don't, I mean, I, I can't speak on behalf of Donald Trump. I definitely think he has some ego. I definitely think he's stubborn. I don't think he's perfect. I agree with Ben Shapiro there. But for him to say that those are the only two options is... It's terrible. It's it's false. It's wrong. It's not facts. It's a hundred percent feelings. Those are Ben Shapiro's feelings, and it has it doesn't coincide with reality. The reality is, they're trying to shut out the conservative voice. They're trying to shut out extreme left and right. They're trying to control the narrative. I mean, you have Google yesterday firing an employee for writing a, a nice little letter explaining diversity, how we can help women, what he thinks the flaws are. At Google. I mean, you have. Google literally censoring videos and demonetizing videos. You have Facebook censoring people. You have Twitter censoring people. You have the news lying. Twitter, Facebook, Google, they lie 24-7. They're lying about Russia. And you think it's all ego. There's no, there's no possible way that Donald Trump could have any good intentions with closing the Russia hearing. I want the Russia hearing gone. I didn't even vote for Donald Trump. Glenn Greenwald doesn't even like Donald Trump. He's a big Trump critic. But he wants the Russia thing ended because it's it's really just a deep state attempt to get Donald Trump out of office. I mean, that's all it is. There's no reality to it. There's no facts. They don't care that Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails. And a bunch of people say, well, Anomaly, Hillary Clinton's not president. Donald Trump is president. That's fine, but Hillary Clinton's not in the woods. It's not like she's not running anything. There's multiple organizations funded by George Soros Media Matters, Share Blue, and their whole attempt is to upend the president and literally just do a covert coup on the president using all the media sources, using little trolls and sending people uh, at Sean Hannity and other people who want to talk about certain issues. They have a whole co covert attempt to silence everybody, to silence you, to silence me, to push this Russia stuff, to lie about everything. Nothing matters except for what we talk about. I mean, it's, it's pure insanity. And this is reality. So I just wanted to say that it's all love. I would, I would love to have a debate with, with Ben Shapiro. And if not, you know, I'm just making this video. If I call out New York Times and Washington Post for lying about stuff, why shouldn't I call out one of the, you know, leading voices in intellect and reality and facts when he's just spewing pure feelings and there's, there's no facts to what he said? I mean... There's a huge possibility, and I'm not saying I know it, but the only two possibilities when it comes to Trump and the Russia Council are not that he's dumb and egotistical or he's lying. Another possibility, which is probably the leading truth, if you want to weigh out which one is more real and more accurate, it would be the fact that this whole Russia Council is a scam. It's led by somebody who lied about the Iraq war. Since when was that the truth teller that you want? Oh, I'm sure he has good intentions. I'm sure he's not in with the deep state and Hillary Clinton and George Bush and Barack Obama. Oh yeah, Mueller, he's like a total good guy. It's like Dr. Phil, we just we just scooped him off the street and he's gonna, he's gonna really bring in justice. No, this is an entire attempt to upend the president at all costs. It's been a year of investigating. Think about this, here's a fact. They've investigated for one year Non-stop, they've spent billions of dollars in revenue, just, you know, New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, billions of billions of dollars worth of advertising this Russia Council, and none of the evidence that they found with Donald Trump, I'm actually impressed. I mean, I would think that there would be more, more stuff on him for how much effort they put into, you know, investigating him. Nothing that they found has even come 120th as far as what Hillary Hillary Clinton has done with foreign countries and even Russia. The real Russia ties lie on the other side. So why should they be allowed to lead this entire media and political witch hunt to upend the president? What's really behind this is they don't want a person that they don't that they didn't elect, that they didn't select. The people elected Donald Trump, and for the first time in a long time, we had an actual president that was elected instead of selected. Usually, Bush, Clinton, Obama, Bush, Obama, Clinton. That, do you notice a pattern? Bush, 
Clinton, Bush, Obama, Bush, <laughs> Clinton. It's not a selected president. It's elect. Er, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not elected. It's selected. They have little puppets that they put in line, and Donald Trump is not one of them. So they're trying to kick him out at all costs. They don't care how free you are. They don't care if your rights are being suppressed. They don't care about the wars. They don't care about the fact that ISIS and Al-Qaeda are almost defeated. They don't care. They just want Donald Trump out of office. So he's totally justified and right to not want the Russia Council, and it has nothing to do with ego and pride. I totally think Donald Trump has a lot of pride and a lot of ego. I'm not defending him acting like he makes no flaws. He, he makes a lot of uh, flaws, and there's a lot of things he could do better. But when it comes to the Russia Council, I think it would be completely ignorant to say that the only two reasons that he could be mad at the Russia Council are because he's egotistical and prideful and he just doesn't want anyone to be better than him and he's so mad or he wants to be so cool. I mean, that's what, that's what Ben Shapiro was alluding to on the Joe Rogan channel and it's just totally inaccurate and totally odd coming from someone very intelligent like him that he, he doesn't know anything about this Russia Council, about how long they've been investigating and about what their true intentions are because the information is all over the place and it's going to play out. It's getting ugly because they've left Donald Trump with no choice. It's either he goes down or they go down. It's unfortunate it has to be that way, but they've left him with no choice. He has no choice. He either needs to end this Russia Council, start investigating other things, or they're going to try to take him down. That's their whole goal. It's not to bring justice. It's not to find the truth. They've been they found nothing. The closest thing they found is that Donald Trump Jr., during the campaign when it wasn't a huge like topic met with a russian pop star's lawyer looking for evidence and didn't get any that's the biggest news and they're not talking about the fact that we've sold uranium to russia they're not talking about the fact when obama was president on a hot mic he got caught after a big speech he was like hey just let let putin know after the election i'm, I'm gonna be a lot more free you know so we could really talk i mean this is a, a big YouTube video that Obama got caught on a hot mic saying that there's millions of things going on but they're trying to frame things in a certain light and that's my thoughts on this I just I just don't think what he said about Russia could be more false I mean not there's there's nothing about this Russia council that's normal there's nothing about it that's fair there's nothing about it that's bipartisan and accurate it's an attempt by the swamp Republicans and swamp Democrats for lack of a better term to upend the president at all costs because they have wars they want to start. You know, they have free speech that they want to take away. They have censorship that they need to do. And Donald Trump is thwarting their plans of complete control. They've had complete control since maybe JFK. And now they're mad because people have free thoughts. You know, people are eating healthy. People are like getting exercise and, and like being smart again. And people are like waking up like, oh my God, I've been controlled and lied to my whole life. So. They're furious. They're trying to, even with the internet, they're trying to take back free thought. They're trying to censor people. That's what's going on. You don't realize the censorship? It's, it's happening. I'm going to make a video in, in probably like 30 minutes or so, another live stream about the Google memo. If you guys didn't hear about the Google memo, someone wrote, wrote a 10-page uh, thesis on Google and the left, the right, identity, politics, and gender. And then he got fired for doing so, and I did a lot of research on that this morning, and it's pretty wild what's going on. It's just a further, uh, it's, it's a further, furthering the censorship that Google's already been clearly doing. So stay tuned for that. Let me know your thoughts here. Once again, I don't like to be petty. I see people fight all the time on Twitter, this and that. I'm not that person. I don't have a lot of pride and ego. I, I think Ben Shapiro is very smart, very intelligent, but I think he's 110% wrong on Russia, I know he's 110% wrong on Russia because he's leading by feelings instead of facts. And the facts are that this Russia Council is ridiculous and it's, it has nothing to do with pride, it has nothing to do with wanting to be cool and popular, it has to do with the deep state and politicians on both sides trying to upend the president at all costs and restart a cold war with a country that we don't need a war with. Uh, a country that is aligning itself with Syria while we were, you know, paying and giving weapons to terror organizations. So it's not Russia's fault that we were giving money and weapons to terror organizations. It's not Russia's fault that ISIS and Al Qaeda was on the rise. It was, you know, the Bushes, Obamas, Clintons, and people who ran the intelligence agencies. It was their fault. Trump gets into office, he starts fixing all these things. 
and then they just want to upend him. So that's that's the real story that's going on. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys for joining. Have a good uh, day, and I'll be back in like 30 minutes in an hour because I really want to talk about this Google memo. It's, it's some pretty creepy stuff straight out of 1984 uh, that's going on. So we'll talk about it. Thank you.